A large fortune is accumulated by extremely hard work, but thus life becomes miserable. I was not, I have been, I am not, I do not mind. As if they were our own handiwork, we place a high value on our characters. Injustice is not evil in itself, but only in the fear and apprehension that one will not escape those who have been set up to punish the offense. A man who causes fear cannot be free from fear. It is impossible to live a pleasant life without living wisely and well and justly. And it is impossible to live wisely and well and justly without living a pleasant life. If you would enjoy real freedom, you must be the slave of philosophy. God is not to be feared, death is not to be expected, and what is good is easy to get, and what is terrible is easy to endure. There is nothing terrible in life for the man who realizes there is nothing terrible in death. The fool's life is empty of gratitude and full of fears. Its course lies wholly toward the future. The most important consequence of self-sufficiency is freedom. There is no such thing as justice in the abstract. It is merely a compact between men. Necessity is an evil, but there is no necessity for continuing to live a subject to necessity. No pleasure is in itself evil, but the things which produce certain pleasures entail annoyances many times greater than the pleasures themselves. When you die, your mind will be gone even faster than your body. To eat and drink without a friend is to devour like the lion and the wolf. Riches do not exhilarate us so much with their possession as they torment us with their loss. Stranger, here you do well to tarry. Here our highest good is pleasure. The greater the difficulty, the more the glory in surmounting it. Happiness is man's greatest aim in life. Tranquility and rationality are the cornerstones of happiness. A happy and eternal being has no trouble himself and brings no trouble upon any other being. Hence he is exempt from movements of anger and partiality. For every such movement implies weakness. How unhappy are the lives of men, how purblind their hearts. The misfortune of the wise is better than the prosperity of the fool. Be moderate in order to taste the joys of life in abundance. Misfortune seldom intrudes upon the wise man. His greatest and highest interests are directed by reason throughout the course of life. Nothing is enough to the man for whom enough is too little. The man least dependent upon the morrow goes to meet the morrow most cheerfully. You don't develop courage by being happy in your relationships every day. You develop it by surviving difficult times and challenging adversity. 
Of all the things which wisdom provides to make life entirely happy, much the greatest is the possession of friendship. Let no one delay the study of philosophy, while young nor weary of it when old. Death does not concern us, because as long as we exist, death is not here, and when it does come, we no longer exist. Natural wealth is limited and easily obtained. The wealth defined by vain fancies is always beyond reach. In a philosophical dispute, he gains most who is defeated, since he learns most. He who is not satisfied with a little is satisfied with nothing. He who needs riches least enjoys riches most. A free life cannot acquire many possessions, because this is not easy to do without servility to mobs or monarchs. For the gods exist, since the knowledge about them is obvious. Virtue consisteth of three parts, temperance, fortitude, and justice. Men inflict injuries from hatred, jealousy, or contempt, but the wise man masters all these passions by means of reason. Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. It is possible to provide security against other ills, but as far as death is concerned, we men live in a city without walls. Most men are in a coma when they are at rest and mad when they act. If death causes you no pain when you're dead, it is foolish to allow the fear of it to cause you pain now. Empty is the argument of the philosopher, which does not relieve any human suffering. If God listened to the prayers of men, all men would quickly have perished, for they are forever praying for evil against one another. If thou wilt make a man happy, add not unto his riches, but take away from his desires. He who least needs tomorrow will most gladly greet tomorrow. With the Epicureans, it was never science for the sake of science, but always science for the sake of human happiness. It is not so much our friend's help that helps us as the confidence of their help. Fortune seldom troubles the wise man. What will happen to me if that which this desire seeks is achieved, and what if it is not? Not what we have but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. The time when you should most of all withdraw into yourself is when you are forced to be in a crowd. My heart is full of fun when I have bread and water. Of all the means to ensure happiness throughout the whole life, by far the most important is the acquisition of friends. Never say that I have taken it, only that I have given it back. The impassive soul disturbs neither itself nor others. Vain is the word of that philosopher, which does not heal any suffering of man. 
It is folly for a man to pray to the gods for that which he has the power to obtain by himself.